much. Uh, I, I listened to a lot, and it was it was hard to listen to, but it was uh, heartwarming at the same time. Uh, our listeners are just wonderful, and uh, Jamie touched everybody. And, uh, yeah, the out- that was portrayed yesterday. The outpouring sure. yesterday was just unbelievable. Uh, you know, it, you didn't hear Doug and Scott. You know, they. We really had a tough time with it at first. Mm-hmm. We had to stay in for a little while with yes. them to kind of get it, to pass it off, to get them comfortable. Uh, just difficult for everybody. Um, some uh, Jeff Seidel did a nice write-up on uh, how you handled yesterday's show. Yeah. And that, it was I really wish nice. you guys would have gotten some. Hey. Uh, yeah, right. It was, it was yeah. called it's the Jamie and Stoney Show. I know, I know, I know. I couldn't have done it without, without you guys. In the That's for damn sure. And uh, Brad Galley did a marvelous tribute piece as, as well. But I was a little surprised when I was watching to see video from uh, our show, and then I realized that we went into the, past the 10 o'clock time period where Carson Anderson are on Twitch. So he, I guess he pulled the video from that in. Man, Bagel Foot's stomach was really, really big. <laughs> oh, my, no. my wife loved that. Starting game. route to Middle oh, yeah, Road. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's here to stay. All right, me too. I guess we're going to have to reset it. Three quarters People don't of a mile. Know. Turn left right, onto so Walnut Lake Road. Stoney loves his bagels. And uh, Stoney has this habit of not really eating anything in the morning at the station unless free food shows up. And usually that's bagels, it's pre-COVID especially. Yes. So, you know, Jamie would bring them in every couple Fridays. But then salespeople, too, would also... Uh, bring them in and they'd be like in a common area where we'd go and, and get them. So uh, Stoney would make a habit of, you know, making the rounds around the building, trying to find, you know, see if any bagels have shown up yet and stuff. So we, we began to observe this and stuff. It's just classic Stoney. Um, you know, there was also a snack cart he used to raid uh, that people had to hide from him. But anyways, um, so Stoney, you know, he's always looking for the free food. And so we made it a joke and Jamie started taking pictures of Stoney. Like, and Stoney had no idea this was going on. And then send them to a group of people that work here. And then we'd all comment about it, you know, and make fun of them and stuff. So anyways, we eventually road. stumbled upon the name Bagelfoot because the whole Sasquatch was Stoney being hairy and all that stuff. <laughs> so I don't know, Wojo yesterday said that, that that made him, one thing that made him laugh. <laughs> so Bagelfoot has gone public. I know. So, 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 so okay. the new show can be uh, so and so and bagel food. Yeah, exactly. Bagel food. In Every one mile, morning, turn left a. onto Middle Belt Road. Yeah. But uh, I know you said it's it. Like it loose. It's let's uh, let people call in still if they want to celebrate Jamie or share yes. a memory. Yes. Um, I know a lot of people didn't get to do that yesterday. Maybe uh, you couldn't do it because you're too emotional to do it. Maybe you, you feel a little bit better today and can collect yourself or ticket text anything. Yeah. Five three nine ninety seven ninety seven is the telephone. Now, did I? I can't remember. Yesterday was such a long day. I, we had baseball last night. Didn't get in my door until nine thirty. Um, I I heard from Jamie's dad. Oh, really? Yeah, and I didn't think I had told you. So he submitted a, a online thing uh, to see if he could get a copy of the show. They started listening when they woke up yesterday. They're on the West Coast. And then uh, in they went back mile, to the rewind after and watched or listened to the beginning as well. Um, but shared a quick email back and forth with them uh, to get them that audio. Mm-hmm. And uh, he uh, couldn't have been uh, kinder uh, and thought you did an absolutely you know, awesome job considering the circumstances. You know, his, his parents, who I've known for a long time, speaking of, kind of like a bagel foot reference, they used to send these big jugs of, or big cans of like uh, canisters of popcorn. And there were like three, it was like sectioned off into like caramel corn and regular popcorn and uh, cheese popcorn. And I, even back going back to the old place, you know, I think I had more popcorn than anybody else. It was just there. It was just there. And the thing was, like, the thing is now in the morning, I just get, like, it just, you'll eat if it's, if something's here. Right. But you you never, you have never brought anything. I I thought bagels. Well, yeah, three I mean, times, yeah, but I never brought anything for myself. Yeah, yeah, you don't bring something to eat. No, like you can make it till eleven thirty if you start lurking, oh, yeah. lurking a long time. Uh-huh. It's just so crazy. I know it's weird. It's just it's. Really? I'm, I'm, I'm on, my life has been basically the seafood diet. When I see it, I'll eat it. It's out there. I don't. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't eat. Like, if I live by myself and I, I didn't go, sh- you know, shopping for food, if there's no food. 
American, I probably I wouldn't eat as much. That's a idio, idiosyncrasy and a flaw at the same time. This is all ba bagel thing. Is a lot of times people would, you know, you get emails, bagels are here, so I'd go and get them. It's not that I was out there searching. A lot of times I would just walk oh, around. Wow. No, it's not. sometimes yes, but sometimes I would just, I, I'd be out walking, uh, you know, just to say hello to people. And I'd say, well, WWJ's got the, that little, you know, so I'd ask, hey, can I got one that day? Yeah, I don't just take. I don't just take. I'd ask. But yes, yeah, that's true. That's true. So you know, I'm not in denial. But you do seem like slightly perturbed of like that we had this thing going on behind your back. Well, not that it was not not that I was being made fun of. I just you know I kind of because even if you told me about it, I probably would still have done it. I, I, I I'm more mad that I wasn't part of the fun. You know that that that, that that's that's it. No big deal. I've, I've embraced it. Middle Belt Road and I've always Road. embraced it. Arrive. That's just one of the great things, you know, that, you know, you know thousands, tens of thousands that Jamie just would be, he was so creative and just creating a, like, camaraderie. Like, those little things help in the office, you know? Oh, yeah. <laughs> just have these bits, the, ins, the, the inside bits that go on and stuff. I mean, he was, he was awesome. But. You know, and it's, you know, going back to, the, you know, our office area, and obviously, I don't know, you know, when we're gonna gather his stuff and you know, get it out of here, when we'll take it to Christie's. But you know, these still the pictures of his family are still there. Uh, it's, it's, you know, I look all the time, it's, uh, especially now. Uh, every every morning we get our coffee. That's it's, it's his character yeah. sheet. Yeah. No, I mean the, the whole thing is still. I just I haven't completely hasn't soaked in. I think there's still a little shock. Um, it, it is. I've noticed that too, Stoney, and I didn't say anything to you, but it's, it's upsetting almost. It, I thought today driving in, it's like I haven't, I never saw him again after March 13th. Yeah. You know, I saw him on so video. I saw him once. Yeah. You know, it just sucks. I know. And somebody, I think one of our sales guys, um, Eric Stearns, put out an email about, you know, he was just so moved that he decided he was going to put like a bouquet of flowers out outside. And I drove in today, and now I don't know if it's all him, but there's a, a bouquet of flowers and two baseballs. It's almost like a shrine. Oh. So that, that's that, nice. that, that's pretty cool as well. So what did you do last night, Heather? Just hang out? Um, yeah, Reflect? just kind of hung, just kind of hung out. Yeah. Oh well, gosh, after the show, I mean, I I was mentally drained. I took a little, quite a long nap right after the show. Just kind of hung out. Yeah. Not, I didn't get into too much. My 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 daughter wanted to play tennis and I said, nah, can we play tomorrow? Today? She goes, mm -hmm. Dad, I'm going to Indiana tomorrow. So that's where she's going to ride the horses and work a little. And I was like, well, do I really want to do that? Um, so I said, yeah, you know what? I, I'll, I'll, you know, I'm going to play with my daughter. So this is the we go to where we usually play, get out of the car, we forgot the rackets. So we drove back home and we went to someplace else that was closer. And we just hit the ball and it was time to go. I said, Jesse, because you do me a favor, four or five balls, I just want to hit as hard as I can. And I'm, I'm pretending that the balls are cancer. And I just hit those tennis balls, I think, harder than I've ever hit in playing the game of tennis. And she just hit them and I just. You know, I always make we always make fun of Jamie too. We used to make fun of all you know all the grunting of the tennis. Ah! And I said to myself, "Cancer sucks." I hit one and went over the fence. And I felt a lot better. Good. For some reason. Whatever makes you feel better, as long as it's legal. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. exactly. Uh, our telephone number is two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven, which is also the ticket text. Like uh, we said throughout the show, throughout the week. Uh, anything uh, you guys want to talk about, uh, Jamie, memories, condolences, we're, gonna, we're not going to stop you. Uh, we do have other things to get into today, including um, Matthew Stafford, as you know, tested positive for COVID. What should the Lions do? What should he do? Uh, also needs to be brought up, but uh, coming up next is news. Heather? Um, yeah, I'm going to tell you about some very, uh, a major scandal and Starting controversy 60, that's going 60, on at the Avenue. Polk County Medical Examiner's Office. In and you guys mile, won't turn right. believe what's taking place. 97 won the ticket. 97 won the ticket. Traffic.
from the WWJ AM 950 Traffic Center. This report brought to you by T-Mobile. A quiet drive in Metro Detroit as expected. Light traffic volumes as usual at this hour and so far no reported incidents on the area freeways. As you move in, in and out mile, of the downtown area right also looking at a fairly road. quiet commute. Now that T-Mobile and Sprint have merged, T-Mobile's network is not only bigger, it's better than ever before. T-Mobile has added more towers, more engineers, and more coverage. So now you don't have to choose between an amazing network and amazing prices to trade. At T-Mobile, you get both. I'm Michelle Penny with Traffic. It's here. It's really here. Better prices. I can't believe it. Finally, more choice. Michigan Auto Reform is here, and that means more choices for personal injury protection. With Allstate, you can lower your costs, not your standards. We'll help you navigate your needs along with your budget.
Like, yeah. you just can't get in a large group, no. inside or outside. You can't. I yesterday or uh, Saturday when we were out, I saw two huge graduation parties. Like, like the cars were everywhere. Mm -hmm. Like, we went to one. It was uh, for my cousin, and it was limited on who could be there. You right. know, and we only sat and were near people that we've already been around. I just, right. I don't understand why people don't get it. I just, people don't believe it's serious. That's what. There are people who believe that. You know what? Maybe if I get miles. it, take exit seven toward M I either will have Ford no Road. symptoms or it'll be you know, like the flu. But what they don't realize is still, you can still transmit it to other people who are more right. susceptible, whether they're elderly or people with uh, but until other conditions. The yeah. whole point is, is like, seriously, if, if, if we were to continue to distance, then the cases would go down even more and we could get into phase five. Which really gives schools a great chance to get open. You're correct. Uh, yes. Um, all right, you guys, you'll never believe what's going on at the Macomb County Medical Examiner's Office. So apparently, the morgue is actually involved in all sorts of controversy and scandal. That includes now three employees losing their jobs over a penis cake. Yes, Among yes. Among other things, yes. Among other things. The, the cake is just the, the tip of the iceberg, really, that, that sent another employee um, to make a big complaint. But apparently there's been a lot of racial incidents that are going on there and porn in the office as well. This, it doesn't, but I read that when I saw the headline, I was like, oh gosh, scandal at the morgue, what's going on? Um, yeah, and the, and the, the headline the free press is what attracted me to this story <laughs> to send it to you. Macomb County Board buried in scandal after penis cake shows up at office. That's a headline grabber, isn't it? Is that a summer <laughs> penis cake? <laughs> yeah, probably. I would imagine that it that it was a summer penis cake, yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> Can't imagine, yeah. But um it just uh, when you read about what was going on, it, it sounds like this has been going on for years and finally one employee had the nerve to file a complaint after the cake showed up. Um, they said that there was a lot of uh, sex jokes made in the office, penis screensavers even, um, printed images of naked men and penis shaped confetti scattered all over the desks. Um, and then uh, like I said, a lot of uh, racial incidents that would go on with um, black families calling the morgue to get information about their loved ones. It just sounds like a really uh, hostile work of you. Can you sure. imagine your job is, you know, what do you do for a living? Well, I uh, make uh, penis confetti. Yeah. <laughs> I have nothing to say about I mean, seriously. <laughs> <laughs> what do you do today? Well, I probably make other confetti, too. Yeah, I would imagine so. What do you do work today? Like, well, today, you know, we, you know, we had the, uh, the red, white, and blue confetti because, you know, for, for the 4th of July, and we got a weird one out of Macomb. We, uh, had to make some penis confetti. I mean, you gotta yeah. have them for the bachelorette parties. You you know? ever, exactly. Have you ever heard of penis confetti before? Oh, yeah, I'm sure. I've seen it at multiple <laughs> bachelorette parties. I mean, they have they have anything that shape. Mm -hmm. Really, there's candies, there's balloons, straws. Yeah, I mean, but those are somewhat... The list goes on um, and on. Those are somewhat big or whatever, you know? <laughs> oh, I, I wouldn't even mean it that way, but the confetti... Confetti is so small. So small. Yeah. Well, that's what confetti is. It's not. I know, but to sit there and actually have to make it. It's going through a machine. It's got to be. Can we move on? Yeah, what a weird thought. Um, you guys, the XFL has been sold to The Rock. Yes. The Rock Johnson. If, if you Rock. watch Ballers, that means that Spencer Strasmore basically owns the uh, owns a football team again, a league. He was trying yeah. to own a football team in Ballers, uh, and now The Rock is going to run the XFL. I think that's great news. It's, I just, it's interesting. I, I don't know. I think this is a losing proposition. I think this is a losing proposition. Like, The Rock just lost a lot of money yesterday. I mean, and, uh, give up on this. Nah, you know what? It was a part owner. So and it was all his money. Right. And it was actually getting a little bit of steam until COVID. Sure. People were watching it. It was I still think that's a very, very small group of people. Yeah. And, you know. and basically the plan, but right now, you know, with, with things not going so well in every other sport, maybe this this is something they, they well, can get off the ground. So basically they say they're gonna the play in a bubble. They wanna make a bubble, a virus free bubble, and they think they can play as soon as next year. Maybe all sports are going to be bubbles. Uh, maybe. We were going to talk about that in a little bit, about the NFL. Maybe I think the NFL 
also has time to potentially create a bubble if they want. And I don't know if you guys saw any of this video or not, but some Splash Mountain riders at Disney World actually had to jump to safety before their boat sank. One of their boats on the ride actually sank, and one of the riders posted a video on social media. It quickly went viral. But what the crazy part of the story is, is that this rider, the guests actually claimed that they were told to remain inside the sinking boat by staff members and that they were like reprimanded for actually jumping out, which is crazy. And I even, who knew this boat could sink? I mean, like, I thought they were just on like a little track. Didn't we talk a few weeks ago about the Splash Mountain? Take exit 724 at 153 and we're going to redo it, I think, to like Tiana, Princess Tiana. Oh, that's why right. they were going to PC Splash Mountain. Yes. Not take the whole ride away, but just change the theme of it. Yes, Kim. All right, thank you, Heather. Uh, coming up next, what should baseball do? Because Tigers, Cardinals, Marlins, all these games are being postponed. 97-1, the Solutions of Detroit for over 14 years. Cleaning is what we do. We work with companies like Entercom Detroit to disinfect. Let Stratus come and deep clean your building. Call 313 960 4737. At Getty's, we believe in challenging the garment industry's status quo by making high quality, timeless apparel right here in Michigan. Rather than outsourcing cheap labor, we built the Getty's factory to invest in the people that make clothing. Our luxury made in the USA fabrics, combined with a Michigan manufacturing team, help create the softest and most durable clothing possible. Come visit our new Eastern Market store or visit Getty's.us and enter code 97.1 at checkout to receive 20% off your first order. Getty's, American Essentials, built to last. By the people, for the people. 50 states, endless ways to experience them. It's time to explore America and General RV is ready to help. Your journey begins in your new RV. Take it's an exit, easy then and take a slight right travel. turn onto your own home on the road. The RV of your dreams has never been more affordable with no payments till 2021. Use the right Plus lane to take a slight right turn onto the road. You'll save thousands when you shop at 6,000 RVs right online or road. visit General RV in Wixom, Clarkston, Brown Sound, and Mount Clemens. Offer subject to credit approval. Conditions apply. See dealer for details. And now, another stroke of genius from Genesis Credit Union. Today, at the light, genius turn right financing. onto Ford Road. I'm no car expert, but to finance one, I don't have to be. With auto financing from Genesis Credit Union. Genesis gives me a great low rate on new, used, and refinanced auto loans because they look at more than just a credit score. 28 locations and 30,000 ATMs. And Stop by and check us out at genesiscu.org. That's genius. That's Genesis. Terms and rates vary based on credit qualifications and other factors. We saved serious cash with our progressive home and auto bundle and used the money to buy a new boat. Who's ready to water ski? <laughs> Continue straight. This, this is, is the right way to be right on time. Sure, customers can save big money with Progressive, but not enough for a new boat. They'll probably spend it on rent or gas money or maybe one of those little plastic waiting pools for the yard. Ahoy there! Is what the captain might say on the tow boat. Use the right lane to keep right onto Evergreen Road. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates. I absolutely love my dog, but the constant shedding, not so much. But then I got a Swiffer Sweeper pet kit, and it is amazing. These super thick cloths pick up a crazy amount of hair. Just look at all that. And that was from just one swipe. And the best part? Sweepers so much easier to maneuver than a broom or a vacuum. At the Easily light, getting around turn chairs right onto and every couch. couch. You're right. Now I can focus on you, not your shedding. Swiffer Sweeper pet kit. Because shed happens. What's hot for business this week at Staples? Small prices, big savings. Help your business go big with everything you need at amazing prices. From office essentials like paper and ink. To half a mile. Like Turn left and onto Ann Arbor Trail. This week at Staples, 8-ounce hand sanitizer is just 2 for $5. Shop in-store, pick up curbside, and get free delivery. Save big this week at Staples. Ends 8 8 20 While supplies last, limits vary online. Curbside available in most stores. Free delivery, limited time only. See Staples. For details. I like a bed that's really firm. I need something a little 
little softer than that. Rest easy. With the Sleep Number 360 smart bed, you can both adjust your comfort to sleep number seven. Can it really help me fall asleep faster? Yes, by gently warming your feet. Okay, but can it help keep us asleep? It senses your movements and automatically adjusts to keep you effortlessly comfortable. Sleep Number, proven quality sleep is life-changing sleep. And now, save up to $500 and select Sleep Number 360 smart beds, plus special financing on all smart beds, only for a limited time. To learn more, go to sleepnumber.com. Special financing subject to credit approval. Minimum monthly payments required. See store for details. This hour of instant feedback brought to you by Mike Caparo of National Benefit Plan. For affordable life insurance, log on to nbphealth.com. Now, text or it's call the ticket using the same number. Ticket text 248-539-9797. Turn right onto Hayden Avenue. Then the destination is on your right. Ticket. The destination is on your right. Still, the Jamie and Stoney Show. Um, we will obviously Arrived. still take your phone calls to uh, celebrate the life.